Uh, welcome back to Letter It. With us right now, a man of many careers, soldier, politician, businessman, conservative. And when his new baby arrives, he'll become the biggest elf you've ever seen. <laughs> Andrew Rocky Richkowski is back. Next to him, a rabbi who can meet with you at the temple or online. He's a member of Rabbis Without Borders and a commentator on all things Jewish and otherwise. Rabbi Jason Miller is back. Also with us, another man of the cloth. He's a teacher, preacher, sometimes protester, who also <laughs> serves as the national spokesperson for the Change Agent Consortium. Reverend David Bullock is back. And of course, you all know Charlie, so let's get right to it. Here is what Phil Robertson said in the, an interview with GQ Magazine. Of course, he is the patriarch of the Duck Dynasty series. He was talking about what he considers a sin. And he said, quote, start with homosexual behavior and just more from there, bestiality sleeping around with this woman and that woman and that woman and those men. And I also realize that uh, Dave Ajima, Dave Ajima also had some remarks uh, uh, that he had to say as well about homosexuality. And we want to hear those remarks right now. This is what he said to a group of people. I stand for traditional marriage, not homosexual marriage. Why? The family unit is the basic unit of government and society. When you tear the family apart, you tear the country apart. Folks, they want free medical because they're dying between 38 and 44 years old. It's a biggie for them. So to me, it's a moral issue. It's a biblical issue. Traditional marriage is where it should be, and that is in our platform. So people that are opposed me on that issue within our party are wrong. Rocky, Phil, and Dave seem to be on the same page when it comes to homosexuals. What do you have to say about that? Well, I think the comments, uh, the latter part of his comments, were very wrong, and uh, I don't know where he was heading with that. But we've got to talk about what is tolerance. Tolerance is accepting people and being respectful of each other's opinions, unless they hurt other individuals. Now, David Ajima, being in a position of leadership in the Republican Party, should have made the latter part of those comments. The first part is part of uh, some of the Republican platform, but the latter part is something that is, is very distasteful. Well, well, the governor certainly uh, exercised his right to free speech by saying that those comments by Ajima were terrible. Very distasteful. But there are other Republicans here in Michigan who are calling Dave Ajima a prophet. But uh, a and, lot and of Democrats who, are a man, as well. A man who is saying, who's a lot saying, of oh, Democrats over. are as well. I have heard those. A lot of Democrats are as well. So where, does, people where, all across so where the board. does the Republican Party stand regarding those comments? Uh, we are a party of tolerance. I'm not speaking for the Republican Party mm -hmm. tonight, but I will say that the Republican Party is a party of tolerance and respecting freedom of speech. Do we agree with his latter parts of those comments? Absolutely not. Well, let me ask uh, the men of the cloth here, both the uh, rabbi and reverend. Now, um, the comments made uh, by these two people were perhaps um, uh, uncomfortable for the modern audience, and yet your holy books, the Torah and the Bible, both speak very, very badly criticize homosexuality. So how do you then uh, address both modern concerns and the ancient word? Well, let's, first of all, I'm glad that you phrased it that way, Hill. I mean, first of all, Rocky referred to those comments as wrong. I'll, I'll take it several steps farther than that, uh, call them atrocious, disgusting, uh, despicable, and, and insulting. I have a lot of friends who are homosexual. Um, they are some of my closest friends. They are wonderful people. They're ethical, moral, upright people who care about wonderful things in this world, like uh, making this world a better place. Um, the Torah, taken literally, Sure, there is a verse that talks about homosexuality as a sin, but we're living in modern times. And to our credit, as modern uh, religionists, we've looked at that uh, section from the Torah, we look at it contextually, and then we also look at it in the framework of modern society. That was not talking about gay people in the 21st century. That's a whole different idea. And for this man on, on Duck Dynasty, which, uh, full disclosure, I do not watch, um, but it was absolutely <laughs> disgusting for him, him to compare yeah. homosexuality to bestiality. Not, not only was it, was it disgusting, it, it was just ridiculous. Reverend, there are some who say that if you deny the word of God, then you are simply walking the path of evil yourself. If you deny what the Bible says, then you are wrong. The beautiful thing about religion in America is that everyone has the right to their own private judgment in matters of religion. Uh, and so in this country, you have liberty, freedom of religion. People are entitled to believe what they want to believe. Let's call this what it is. It is the, politi the politicization 
of sin. It's using sin for political purposes. The Republican Party is really good at stuff like this, using race for political oh. purposes, using class for political purposes. Oh. And what you have is you have a political move where they're using homosexuality, sin, and then making claims about policy. Right, they want to be married uh, because they're dying. They want benefits. This is not uh, a, a religious crusade. Uh, these are not religious comments. These are political comments being used to divide the body politic and to shape policy by using theological Rocky, terms. Your response, we should stop it uh, at all Bullock, costs. That, that's a great little bully pulpit you were on for the last two minutes. But let me tell you, you are definitely one to talk about intolerance. You went to a Farrakhan speech and you left the Farrakhan speech talking up where he specifically called Jews the uh, members of the synagogue of Satan and you said that you left inspired the conversation was timely and that you felt it was impactful these were exact quotes this to is you. what Republicans Please, do, do not, do not they, call they, Republicans they, 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 intolerant. They spin, we came here they to flip, talk about tolerance they, they politicize you want to uh, they, 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 they take time. terms out of context uh, anyone who talks about were you at the Farrakhan speech and, and, and self were you at the Farrakhan is speech is, well, is, it, is it not true that Frank Frankly, no matter what you say, there are consequences. Bottom line. There are, but you have there to be always respectful. Consequences. Especially, of, especially and today. And that's why you should, be, that's why you should like be careful about what you say. And, and as far as most people understand, he was, and Rocky, I understand you don't want this to be the case, but it appears as though he was speaking on behalf of the Republican Party. Well, he Party. wasn't speaking on behalf of the Republican but, Party. But that's how people will see it. They, so you move from David sin to public but, policy yeah, about marriage, right, right. and that's not a political Charlie, point. some people were shocked that Phil Robertson got suspended for saying those words in Esquire magazine, GQ magazine. GQ. GQ. They're shocked. GQ. Well, well I, yeah, but you know what? If we say something wrong, on the, you know, yeah, I think what you said it before. If we say something, there are consequences. Consequences. And if we're on television and saying something, a lot of people are going to hear them. You have to be, I think you have to be practical in this world. And you, I think you have to be tolerant, as Rocky would say. I hate to agree with Rocky so much, but I think that's true. But the bottom line here is why are we spewing hatred? Why would you say something that's just so hatred toward a group yeah, of I people? I can't figure I can't, out that this I can't guy's got it. an audience. Duck Dynasty is, for whatever reason, has become a very popular show. He does an interview with GQ magazine. His words are going to be repeated all over. And to, to compare homosexuality with bestiality is 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 so beyond yeah, the pale of, of. I'm not here to to defend Phil. Number one, I really don't understand why GQ even interviewed him. Have you ever seen how he dresses? Let me tell you why they interviewed because that show is extremely popular. <laughs> sure. and, and we also have to admit he is saying what a lot of people but believe. Read, but if you have to read, you have to read his entire quote in context. No, you don't. He, you have to because at the end he talks about this is his personal opinion, but he respects. And loves all individuals. Of course, it's his personal opinion. Of course, it's his personal opinion. Right. Uh, I You're can I, I can say whatever I want to say. You have uh, because it's my personal opinion. I can scream fire. There will uh, be in, in, in the middle of a room no, because you I feel like I'm, I feel like there's a so fire. You cannot hurt other individuals. You have to watch your mouth. You have to be respectful. If we learned anything in America uh, uh, recently, we should have learned that somewhere along the line there are some words and some phrases that are inappropriate, and you should not use them. Well, look, we also apologize for your comments. We also heard an interesting point from one of our viewers tonight. Stephanie has this to say about the Duck Dynasty controversy. She says, I'm transgender and I'm also a former Marine that swore an oath to defend the Constitution of the United States. The beauty about this country is that we don't all have to see eye to eye as long as we respect each other's right to feel the way they do. I disagree with Phil Robertson, but I'll defend his right to feel the way he does till my dying day. But feeling and speaking this was are two different matters. Stephanie Semper Fi, Stephanie's two absolutely matters. correct. Stephanie hit the nail on the head. She's absolutely correct and Semper Fi to her. Okay, you, uh, thank you, Stephanie, for protecting our country. Mm -hmm. However, this was not a free speech issue. This guy from Duck Dynasty was not arrested in the United States of America for, for articulating his views on homosexuality. Right. Right. Nobody said you can't say that, this is a free country. What right. they did say is you can't have your job anymore because you're not allowed to say that representing the but show. May, that may, comes down to may, his contract, that may, comes down to his Meanwhile, we have uh, this from Fox News anchor Megan Kelly, striking a nerve when she gave her opinion <laughs> about Santa Claus and the color of his skin. <clears throat> In Slate, they have a piece uh, on dot com. Santa Claus should not be a white man anymore. And mm -hmm. when I saw this headline, I kind of laughed and I said, oh, this is so ridiculous. Yet another person claiming it's racist to have a white Santa, you know. And by the way, for all you kids watching at home, Santa just is white. But this person is just arguing that, that maybe we should we should also have a black Santa. But, you know, Santa is what he is. 
If that's Charlie, her, if that's her opinion, <laughs> you know why you're supposed to be objective. You, there are certain things. You know, she lost credibility. There's a certain aspect you can that's say whatever she you had want. Credibility. You have to have credibility. She when she says something as silly as that, she loses credibility. Yeah, but the story. And it, listen, she has no right to that job. And we have contract. We have clauses right. in our contract. That's it. And this we have is not moral a free speech clauses. issue. It's not a free speech issue. If I take this job, there are certain boundaries to what I can say. That's exactly. And it comes I can down go to a out contract. and say anything I want for the most part, but I may not have a job. Right. Two different issues. You won't be arrested, okay. though. Uh, I just want to say, okay, real quickly, first of all, Santa Claus, as far as I know, is a mythical figure. Okay? And number two, what? as a what? rabbi, what? Charlie, what? this what? might shock you. a Greek saint. But I'm saint also, Nicholas. I'm a very logical person. If you're going to go down a chimney, you're going to be covered in soot, you're going to look black. Well, look, in the United States That's of impressive. America, hopefully we've come to a place where we can describe Santa Claus in terms that make us feel comfortable. Why is it inappropriate for an African-American young lady to say, I want a black Santa Claus? That's not Or inappropriate, inappropriate for it's a Caucasian American to say, I, I want a Caucasian Santa Claus? Mm -hmm. And why is this even an issue? And then, and then for her to say, well, you, everybody knows Santa Claus is white. No, everybody doesn't. The last time I saw Santa Claus, it was James Brown in the Santa Claus. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> again, Jesus again, the issue, the issue okay. was it's that this group but the issue comes down to this group wanted to actually change Santa Claus from being white or, or black or whatever. They didn't want to change it. They, they wanted to make him a penguin. No, they wanted to make him a penguin. They simply Claus. wanted to include a variety of colors when speaking about this mythical character. That's what they wanted. What? And look, what is the color of hope and charity and love? And that's giving. a rainbow of colors. And, and that just, is the even though meaning. Huel, even though Hanukkah was almost a month ago, I just, for the record, Hanukkah Harry is gay. So I just want to put that out there. A revelation, Rabbi. Yeah. Wow. All right, panel, we thank you. Merry More Christmas. to come. All right, let it rip. A sensitive subject involving Santa Claus. So if you've got young children watching right now, send them to bed or maybe tell them to go to another room. Let's just say we don't want to spoil anything for the little kitties. We'll be right back.